Hey, thanks for joining me today, you guys. Listen, we're gonna talk some more real estate investments and I'm gonna bring it kind of right down to the basics, some pretty simple stuff, but important stuff, wealth building stuff, okay? So just because it's simple doesn't mean it's not extraordinarily valuable. My name is Mark Halsey. I'm the managing broker of Results Commercial. Uh, Minneapolis St. Paul Investment Boutique. But listen, I'm gonna talk to you kind of from an investor point of view too because I've been in the investment game for a very long time. Most of my work now is focused on brokerage, but still an investor owner and have owned many, many units. I wanna talk single family. Single family investments is what I wanna talk with you about. Now, I don't care if you're new to investing or you're an experienced investor, where do single family homes fit into this equation? Here's what I think is crazy interesting. Years ago, I used to own a lot of single family homes and duplexes and triplexes as rentals. It's how I got started to build up a portfolio. And now, what I think is so interesting, we've got Wall Street out there gobbling up thousands of single family homes across the country as investments. So when you take a look at this and say, are single family home investments a, a smart idea, a viable idea? Clearly the answer is yes. And it's yes for all the reasons that almost any real estate investment works. Um, as long as it's cash flowing, right? I mean, this is what it comes down to you guys. This is pretty simple number crunching when it comes down to single family home in terms of what am I buying it for? What are going to be my costs for holding this? Is the landlord, the owner paying for the taxes? Yeah, usually on a single family home, at least in our Minneapolis St. Paul market, the owner pays taxes, they pay property insurance. But on a single family home, unlike some other investments, the tenant covers a lot of the costs. In fact, many times, not only will the tenant cover a lot of the costs of that single family home investment, gas, heat, cooling, trash, water, sewer. They might even be taking care of some of the maintenance. Maybe they're mowing the lawn. Maybe they're, they're shoveling the sidewalk for snow if you're living in a, in a climate like we have here in Minnesota. So in fact, many of us who have owned single family homes, we kind of joke with each other like, hey, when was the last time you went over to see your, to your last single family home investment? And the reason we say that is because they can start operating so smoothly with good tenants. I'm gonna talk about that in a video coming up here, you guys, because it's all about tenants, the quality of the tenant. And that's the key thing here too, is that if you put a great tenant, a nice family, right, in a single family home, their home, and you want them to feel like it's their home, treat it like their home. We wanna find the tenant that will care for it like their home. We want them to take care of it, pay the bills, call us up if there's a problem, I'll tell you what, it's wonderful. There are many times where I might have just simply a lease renewal and another lease renewal, and the next thing you know, you have a tenant in that single family home for three, four, or five years, similar to what we deal with with a commercial investments like on retail and office where we have long-term tenancy. We're commercial folks, so we deal with a lot of retail and office and industrial investments. They're all good. They're all, it just depends upon the investor. But as if you're thinking about building a single family home portfolio, absolutely. The challenge, you know the challenge. The challenge is finding the product because there's a lot of competition, whether you're de dealing with the people that want to flip houses or you're just dealing with the, just the general open market. But you know what, that's okay, it's a numbers game. You run the numbers on the home, you take a look, will you meet the debt service coverage ratio, right? Do the numbers work? DSCR, debt service coverage ratio, I talk, I talk about that in some of our videos as well. If the numbers work, play the game, add it to your portfolio. So listen, single family homes are a great option for you to consider. Don't look upon it as a small little investment not worthy of serious consideration because I've watched a lot of people get rich, truly get rich on having six, nine, a dozen homes. And the next thing you know, they're paid for creating amazing income. So I hope this helps you. I hope it gives you some ideas to think about the different ways that you can build an investment portfolio. If you like our videos, if you like this investment information, I've been doing this for so many years, I wanna share this with you guys. Subscribe to our channel, I sure would appreciate it. Check us out on social media, we're kind of everywhere. And certainly you can see us at resultscommercial.com. Thanks for joining me today.